All right, welcome. Here's your Saxon lesson 83. You're going to need the activity sheet 83A and B. It looks like this. Uh, make sure you take that out. We're going to start <clears throat> with um, alphabetizing the words on uh, worksheet or activity sheet 83A. You're going to put those words in ABC order. Um, it has numbers on the bottom. It says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The reason they have those numbers on the bottom is because they're reminding you to number the lines. What I mean by that when I say number the lines is just the same way that you number for your spelling test is the same way you number when you do alphabetical order and there's more and there's a lot of words that way it'll help you know which words you've used and which words you haven't so you need to number your paper like this the next thing you're going to do is you're going to underline the guide letter so the guide letter can sometimes be the first letter sometimes it's the second or third depending on if there is another word with the same first letter so um, with these words, the guide letter is all the first letter because they're all different, except for the word swimming and soccer, because they both start with S. So the guide letter for swimming would be W, and the guide letter for soccer would be the O. Okay? So go ahead and underline the guide letter in all of the words. I accidentally um, underlined that. And then go ahead and put them in ABC order. Pause the video now. All right, now that you've had a chance to put these in ABC order, I'm going to call some friends or helpers to see who could help me with number one. What word would go first, Christian? Baseball. Very good, because it starts with a B. Very good. What is the, and then cross out the word baseball. What is the next word, Amariah? Football. Foot, oops, foot, ball, excellent. Cross out football. What's the third word? Leia, soccer, S-O-C-C-E-R, because O comes before W. Then what's the next word? Rena, no. Swimming. We have baseball, football, soccer, then swimming. And then the last one is what, everyone? Track. Very good. T R A C K. So your paper should look like this. I apologize. I messed up a little bit. But number one was football. Two, I'm sorry. Number one was baseball. Two was football. Three is soccer. Four is swimming. And five is track. Excellent job. All right, let's move on. The next one is super easy. 83B, also put those words in ABC order. You are going to underline the guide letter. Remember, in the word um, dog and duck, the guide letter will not be D. Instead, it'll be U and O. Okay? Go ahead and put those in ABC order. When you're done, you can unpause the video. Pause the video now. All right. Now that I've given you a chance to go ahead and complete that, Let's see, uh, Jacob Haney, what is the first word? I'm sorry? Cow, very good, because C is the first letter. All right, uh, Brenaya, what's the next? Dog or duck? Dog, very good, D-O-G, because O is the guide letter there, not the D, and O comes before U. The third word would be what, everyone? Duck. Right? Dog and then duck. And then jasmine. And then what? Horse. Very good. Horse, because H comes before P. And everyone, what's the last one? Pig. Pig. Very good. Your paper should look like this. We have cow, dog, duck, horse, and pig. Excellent job. All right, now let's move on. We are going to go over our sight words only today, and then we're going to get started on our new Saxon lesson. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right, I need to hear everyone's voice. Go.
Actually. Okay, let's move on. Um, where it says review words next to number one, I want you to write the word bat. I'm sorry, excuse me, batch. Yes, I made a batch of brownies. Batch. That was one of our math words in our math worksheet today. Oh, yeah. Batch. Batch is spelled B-A-T-C-H. Number three, I'm sorry, number three. Number two is stitch. Stitch. Remember, these are diagraph, I'm um, triagraph, T-C-H. So stitch, you're using triagraph, T-C-H. Stitch, S-T-I-T-C-H. Number three, bridge. Number three is bridge. Bridge, B-R-I-D-G-E. Yep, trigraph D-G-E. So, B-R-I-D-G-E. Next to number four, write the word learn. Yes, I learn a lot in school. Learn. Learn, yep. L-E-A-R-N. Number five, usually. Usually. Usually is spelled U-S-U-A-L-L-Y. U-S-U-A-L-L-Y. Number six, America. The A needs to be capital. America, A-M-E-R-I-C-A. -E America. Okay. All right, I want you to echo these words for me. Motion. Motion. Hold on, wait until I'm done. All three of them. Motion, action, injection. Motion, action, injection. What sound do you hear in the final position, everyone? Shun. Shun. Look at these words and see what letter is making the shun sound. What letter is making the shun cl sound, class? T-I-O-N. That's right. The letters T-I-O-N are making the shun sound. T-I-O-N is a final stable syllable. Who remembers why we call these syllables final? Because they're in the final position. Final position. Who remembers why we call these syllables stable? Because they do not change. They're final stable syllables. We call these syllables final stable syllables because they are always in the final position and their sound does not change. Why do we think the letters shen are a syllable? Why? We call the letters shen a syllable because they have their own vowel sound. How do we code final stable syllables class? With a bracket. So you're going to bracket the T-I-O-N. Do you agree? Yes. Where does the accent go on a final stable syllable? Before or after the bracket? Before. Before the bracket. Very good. We won't do any further coding on final stable syllable shun. How do we code the long O in motion? With a brief or a macron? A macron, not a brief. I didn't say motion. I said motion. The O makes the long sound O. Right? All right. How about action? Is the A a brief? No. Ah, it's a what? It's a brief. It is a brief. And the C has a back because it makes the k sound. Action. How many vowels do you see in the syllable right before uh, the final stable syllable? Action. It's two syllables. Very good. Let's look at the next one. Injection. Injection. Look, 
there's a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, you need to write the division lines, right? You need to divide those two. And then in injection, the C makes the k sound, so it needs a back. Let's see. Um, how do we code the vowel I injection with a breathe. breathe? How about the E? Another breathe. Very good. So we have a new letter card. Every time we see this card, Jacob, we're going to say final stable syllable shun. Very, very good. Final stable syllable shun. All right, we also have a new picture card. Um, this is something you use during, mostly during the winter, sometimes all year round. It's something you put on your body. What is it, class? Lotion. Lotion. Very good. Whenever you see this card, we're going to say lotion shun. Lotion shun. Very good. All right. Um, what do you think we're going to write when I say shun next time? T-I-O-N. Excellent. We're going to write T-I-O-N. So let's write T-I-O-N. Where it says new sounds and words on number seven. Okay. Now, when you write this, it's going to look like this. Watch. Miss Yusuf, what is this line? Why did you write this line? This line means it's part of another word. It's a final stable syllable. So when we write it, we're going to write the line and then T-I-O-N. Lotion. Just like that. It looks just like that. Okay. Awesome. Can you give me that top, please? All right, very good. Now let's practice writing some words with the final stable syllable, shun. Next to number eight, I want you to write the word lotion. It should be easy because O, -O that's L-O, and then shun is T-I-O-N. So how do you spell lotion, class? L-O-T-I-O-N. Very good. Next to number nine, write the word fiction. fiction. So fiction, you know, f is F, I is I, k is C, and then shun, T-I-O-N. Yes. Class? Yes. How do you spell fiction? F-I-C-T-I-O-N. Excellent. Next to number 10, write the word carnation. Carnation. Car... Nay, shun. Class? Yes. How do you spell carnation? C A R N A T I O N. C A. It's C A R N A T I O N. Yes. Carnation. Class? Yes. Let's read the words in the high frequency word box together on three. One, two, three. Earth, light, right, ocean, again, against, question, government. You're going to write them one time next to the word. And on the back, you are going to write eight sentences, not a story, eight sentences. In each sentence, you're going to use one of those words from this box. I want you to use each word one time. When you do this, I do grade for handwriting. It better not look sloppy. You use the lines to help you with your handwriting. I am looking for a capital letter in the beginning of your sentence and a punctuation mark in the end. You do need to highlight the word that you have used, okay? Make sure you do that. When you are done with that, then you're going to do the worksheet and the homework page 38 on your own, okay? All right, have fun learning, and I'll see you later. Bye.